Hey everybody, uh, this is Greg Koopman, and the first thing I'm going to say is my s number 14 Power BI video uh, wasn't didn't show the easiest way to do this uh, do the uh, task I wanted to do. So I've gone to Power BI 15, and through time I've gained wisdom at least a couple days. Um, and now I'm going to start saying this: If you like my videos, please subscribe. YouTube's algorithm likes that. Of course, if you say algorithm, probably makes it not count. Anyways, that's my joke of the day. But anyways, subscribe if you feel like it. And if you don't, don't subscribe. Sorry for the delay. Let's go to the demo. Okay, this is Greg, and uh, basically, this is data, and it's an Excel spreadsheet of employees, and it's, I don't know, 30 columns wide, 25 columns wide. Not too bad, but it's still a pain to look at in a table and scrolling horizontally. And just imagine if you have 100 columns or 200 columns, which I, I work on very often. And um, how do you look at that data? And really, you know, especially if you don't have a lot of explanation of what it's about, it's very difficult to analyze what's going on. It's a lot easier if you look at one uh, row at a time and see all the columns next to each other so you can see correlations and all that good stuff, right? So this is a problem child right here. And this is the golden boy right over here. So now you got the... Um, you know, you got a nice looking area here where you can just click on the rec one record at a time and you can see all the columns. You don't have to scroll to the right. And if I read the Latin here, which of course everyone knows how to read, we can correlate that with some of these other areas in the, um, some of these other columns, right? Now you can analyze this, right? And this one, you can't analyze this very well at all, unless you already know very well what it is. Even then, you get over to the right and you start reading the, the notes. And you say, well, I don't know who that is. What is the employee that's for? It's because it's not on the screen. That's why. So anyways, we, we all know this. So I'm just explaining something we all know. But how do you do it? Right? How do you how do you make it look like this? You come over to the visuals, you don't see anything that has that kind of dynamic to it. No visuals. They're always horizontal. Or you got to go to a car and then drag each one of these in. And it's even then it's nasty. To, for me, I found it very difficult to use. So, But there was one way to do it. And I did it in the video Power Video 14. Uh, I did it probably the hard way over there. I definitely did it the hard way. Uh, I used SQL, and I actually uh, even wrote some stuff to do uh, key value pairs, although it's a great algorithm, and you might use it for other purposes. But I, I went a little further and saw that this has a little uh, easier way of doing it. Okay, And that's why I created another video. I left the 14 video because the algorithm there is really cool for your SQL Server um, gurus. Okay, So that's cool over there, but this is better. I left comments on the 5th 14 to say, come on over here if you want an easier route to go. So we're over here now in Power Video, Power BI Video 15. So how do we do this? Well, that's what I'm about to tell you how to do it, and here we go. So anyways, let's see how we do this. So what I'm going to do is going to, and you already saw what we're trying to do, and what I'm going to do is go into the tables. Actually, I'm going to go into Transform, and what I need to do is take this table, which is currently just a regular table, you know, lot, very wide, and very short okay so it's you know it's only like 45 columns um, I mean 45 45 rows so it's kind of short and fat right so what I need to do is make this into what a, a key value pair which is where we, where I have um, the row number and then I have the column name then I have the column value and that's what I need to do so I need to convert this table that way so the first thing I need to do in this table um, there was not a uh, primary key or a unique key that would can identify each of these rows. Okay, so that's the first thing I need to add to this uh, table. So I'm going to first of all do that, and uh, the name of my table is let's see employees. Okay, so now I'm going to add an index. It's called a column index, and this is very important because you need if you already have like a uh, unique key, like an employee key or something like that, like I did in the uh, previous video. Uh, then you're okay. But I took that out and I want to show you a different technique because a lot of times you're going to get an Excel spreadsheet that doesn't have a unique column and you forgot to, and someone forgot to put a row number in or something to make it unique. Um, so you need to add a unique a unique column. I'm just going to click on the first column. Okay, so what I do is I go to my add column pad right here and I go to, you'll see this thing called index column. So what this is going to do is add an index and that will become your unique, unique key. Okay, so then I just say from one, all right, I don't want to go from zero, I want to go from one. So I go from one, and presto, it creates me an index. And now every one of my rows it has a unique 
key 1 through 48 in this case. Second of all, notice where they put it. It puts it at the very end. I don't want it at the end. So what I'm going to do is grab it by clicking on my mouse key and pulling it across. Okay, and I might have to do, you know, kind of pull for a while here. Okay, good. So now I'm at the very first position. I let go. And now my index is on the far left side. That's very important. Now I got my index and my table. What I want to do now is make a copy. So I'm just going to copy or duplicate. I'm going to click duplicate. And now I got two of these. Okay, because I want to keep one just as it is, nice and with all the columns, wide columns. I want that because it helps me in my filtering later. But the second one, I want to create what are called um, key, key value pairs. Eh, no one says it on the videos. That's why I made the first video because I couldn't find something on it. But now I, they call it, they, in a lot of the videos, they say row by columns, this kind of thing, uh, or unpivot. So that's what this is. So I'm going to call rename this, this um, table to, we'll just keep it simple, and we'll just say unpivoted, unpivot, employees unpivot, okay? That's going to be my skinny one and tall one, okay? All right, so what I do now is I click on index just for, on, this, on this table, because I want to leave that one the same, click on index, go up and hit my transform pad, then I move my mouse over and hit the unpivot columns down arrow. And I say unpivot other columns. All right. So when I do that, the index will stay, but then my other columns will unpivot. Okay. So let's see what happens. I clicked it and presto. Look how fast that happened. All right. Um, I didn't have to go to SQL Server. I didn't have to do anything. This could be an Excel and it automatically did all this for me. Okay. So this is really a nice feature. Okay. So. Now it's all done, it's unpivoted, and that's, uh, or you can call this a key value pair, whatever you like, whatever confuses everybody. Um, yeah, that's a joke. So anyways, um, that's what it is. So we got my index, I got my attribute, and my value. Perfect. So let's go back to the report. Before I go back to the report, I have to go to File. Make sure you click Close and Apply. Don't just click Close because it will save. So hit Close and Apply. Did I mention to subscribe? Okay. Anyways, uh, let's go to the next one. I know that's old already, or very old. I won't do it for another 100 videos. So let's go ahead and hit plus. But my colleague at work told me that if you do that, a lot more people, you get your videos at the top of the list a lot better because the algorithm does it, right? And that, and you also have to stand on your head. Okay, those are my jokes. I'm getting funny today. <clears throat> so anyways, um, now I'm in page two. And this is where the magic happens. I, I don't want to have to go across. So what I'm going to do is go over to my field section, go to my employees unpivot. And all I'm going to do is grab my attribute First of all, I'm going to grab a table. I'm going to create a table here. And I'm going to click on table. So I have a table. Then next I'm going to hit attribute and value. All right. Now, as you see, I'm getting like base rate, all these things here, birth date. And if I scroll down, I got a bunch of stuff here, all the everything I ever wanted, right? So now I'm going to expand this maybe a little bit. Give myself a little bit more real estate. There we go. I pull this across. Okay, so let's just move this over like this. Now, that's just why I wanted the other table to still be there. So I'm going to create another table, or I could create a slicer. It doesn't matter. In this case, I'm going to create a, a table, another table. But this time, I'm going to point just to the um, ID, that index I t that I created. So it recognizes each each um, row uniquely. Oh, that's ugly, right? Point zero zero. That's That's not good. So before I do this, I just can't stand that. So let's just go over to data type format and I should be able to do a whole number okay so now we're at least a whole number so there's my records it's very skinny that's fine so now watch the magic I click a 10 and you see all of my stuff shows up here right it, I, I see everything vertically no longer that horizontal thing all right so what I'm gonna do is make this look a little better I'm gonna do that by doing this number one I don't like my notes hanging around inside my table at this point so I'm gonna do something different I'm just gonna move this over I may move this guy over a little bit. Okay. And I'm going to um, condense this a little bit. Something like that, right? Okay. And then I'm going to cop make a copy of it. Put it right next to itself. Controls D. Pull it over. Now i got two, two different columns, right, of, of data. They look the same, though, don't they? Well, this is where we go into the filter. So I'm going to click here. And I, I know that, let's say I'm going to sort by something here. So I'm going to sort by attribute and click over here again. So it's by ABC. It goes down to marital status. I think that's a good break point. 
Um, so I'm going to go to Format. I'm going to go to my Filters over here. I'm still sitting on this grid, right? I'm going to stay up on this grid. And I'm going to filter down to Marital Status. So I come in here and I say Attribute Base, Current Flag, da-da-da, Email. And I, and I have email, and I'm going to go down a little further. Okay. I'm not going to do Latin notes. I want that at the bottom. So I'm going to do a couple more. And there's marital stats. Okay. So that looks pretty good. So that's a nice column. Now, what I'm going to do on this other column is I'm going to start from middle name. Okay. So let me go over to that one. I'll select that, that um, table. And I'm going to start from middle name and middle name okay so now i'm starting a middle name and this thing is very not very easy to scroll but i'll make the best of it and i add these guys to it right looking good Now we're looking good. Go to record 14, and now we got something to look at. So now we don't have to scroll like we do over on this side. And this is even an eight point. This is even an eight eight point font. We don't have to go this way to figure out what we got, which is ugly and hard and hard to uh, analyze, right? Okay, you know, go to one column. It still doesn't matter. It's hard to analyze when you get to the far right. You don't know what's on the left. You don't know. You only can view about six six cells or seven cells, right? But here in this method. I can look at the entire record and figure out what's happening. So if I look at this record, Tom Van Valdi, right? I see his email address. I see his birthday. I see this, and I got notes: Incongung, uh, Indium, Justo, Idiom, Pridium, Ia, and Amen. So there I go. I got everything in Latin, and um, I'm all set. So again, what I'm trying to say here, um, it's good. This is how you want to look at your data. And sometimes you also want to look at the other way. Don't get me wrong. But, you know, by doing this method with a couple of clicks here and there, you can get it into this format so you can really start analyzing it better uh, with a little bit of uh, creativity, right? Well, not that much creativity because I already had it, the unpivot thing in there for you to use. So uh, just by combining a couple of techniques. So with that, I will say um, good night, goodbye, and I'm not going to say to subscribe to this channel. Okay, thanks a lot.